Land Preparation Primary Duties Welcome to my new plot of land. I can see it's already cleared a little. So what's next? Oh, as I mentioned before, primary cultivation needs to happen. There are three main ways it can be done. Hand digging, which is what you will be doing. It is done to cut and turn the soil slices. With djembes and fork djembes. That's the one. Mechanical cultivation is used on large pieces of land using tractor-mounted implements, which include moldboard and disc plows. Subsoilers and reapers are necessary for breaking the hard pan. Do I need to know what subsoilers and rippers are then? Yes, but we will cover that later. Ox plow uses animals such as oxen, donkeys, or camels to pull the plow on fairly flat pieces of land, which is much faster than hand digging, but need to be in an area with these animals. I'm better than an ox. You just watch. But. Why is primary cultivation needed, though? This step is necessary to remove weeds, bury organic matter for easy decomposition, destroy pests, and promote aeration of the soil. All right, give me a djembe and I'll get started, Mr. Buddha. <laughs> I love your eagerness, Sam. But here are a few things to consider before we start. First, timing is important. You need to make sure to do it before the rains start, to get the weeds and vegetation enough time to decompose and allow the soil to properly air it. Dry soils are hard to dig in, and wet soils can lead to a hard burn. You need to find the perfect timing balance. Hmm, what else? Yes, choosing how deep you will dig is important to know. This depends on the crop you are planning to grow, the tools that are available, and the type of soil you are planting in. Harder soils just means more work with the djembe though, right? Well, Sam, to help save your back, it is important to make correct implementation. For example, you need to consider the condition of the land. A djembe would break in soils with many stones, and a disc plow would be a better choice, especially if you want a fine tilth of the land. So, to paraphrase, different situations call for dip different implements. Mm -hmm. Heavy implements, such as reapers, are necessary when deep cultivation is needed, and vice versa. We are ready to move on to secondary cultivation. So, like secondary is after primary school, is this stage of cultivation a more refined version to better prepare the land? That is a great observation, Sam. You are a farmer at heart. This stage uses the process of harrowing. Harrowing? Yeah. It is the breaking of the clods in the soil more finely, using the same tools or tractors for large fields. There are a few factors that determine how many times we will need to repeat this stage. Ooh, ooh, let me guess. Rain seems to be a big factor in farming. So how dry the soil is mm -hmm. and how the soil is after primary cultivation. Other boy. Moisture and soil condition are correct. Two other factors, slope of the land and the size of the seeds. If the slope is steep, less cultivation is needed, since the wind and water will erode it faster. Bigger seeds don't need fine turf. Excuse me for asking, Mr. Buddha, mm -hmm. but repeating this process seems to be a waste of time. Um, farming is about patience, young man. Secondary cultivation is very important because it helps remove weeds that might have germinated make planting easier by breaking the soil and leveling the ground, and helps incorporate organic matter in the soil. Let's stop for lunch before I finish up. You must have heard my stomach growling. Yeah, I did, I did. <laughs>